What is going on guys? All right, so we have the Explorer behind us and you might wonder what's going on back here. You can tell by the title, we got a P3 gauge in. Here is my old gauge pod, which I was gonna use. Now that I got a P3 gauge, I will not be using it. So P3 is actually a small business. Uh, I, I believe it's only three owners is what I was told. Really nice people. Uh, we got this gauge back behind us and that's gonna give us all our gauge readings and everything. It's gonna sit right in the vent. Apparently it does not block any kind of airflow or anything. So we're gonna try that out. Um, I know my wife will like it because again, I had this big bulky thing and I was going to put a gauge in it and this sits in your center console and a uh, neat design. This was released oof, probably 2022 sometime last year. I forget who was printing those, but it, it was a really neat idea. And again, it was the first of the market for the Explorer without having to do like some kind of cheesy a pillar gauge pod thing. Um, but this is way better. This is way cleaner. This sits right inside your driver's side air vent on, uh, on the left side of the steering wheel. And so in the box, let me flip y'all around. Hoping this is a nice and easy install as well. Gives you all this, lets you know what is included in here. Uh, so let me move this back a little bit. You can see we have the control box. Now this is all jumbled up because I kind of just dug through it myself. We got our switch that wires everything in we got our actual gauge here and i opted for the white and the red one i think they have a white and a blue one as well which is pretty neat so you can choose between those two options and then of course you know we got like little goodies we got air fresheners that's really sick i actually didn't even see these air fresheners some badass little look at that <laughs> that is sick that is badass and of course, you know, we got all the stickers. So we'll be adding those to the, the toolbox. I bet these things smell amazing. Uh, so yeah, it should be a simple, straightforward install. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna plug all this together and we're gonna plug it into the OBD2 port and just verify that this gauge is working. All right guys, so I went back and it is in fact just three guys, Rick the owner, which is also the founder and creator of these, and two other guys, and they all still hand build and create these themselves, which is awesome. Again, you're supporting a super small business. For some reason, I always thought P3 Gauge was a bigger brand than that. It just seemed, the, the way they, they were scaled up and, and the way I believed or perceived them is they were a bigger company than what they are, which is cool. Again, I love, love, love small businesses. Uh, and I know the Explorer community does too. Y'all treated me super well. Uh, and I know there's gonna be a lot of backlash on these, right? Yes, these gauges are expensive, but it's super, super quality. It's super OEM too. Again, this, this thing sits right inside the vent and it doesn't, it might block half the airflow, but you'll still get plenty of air out. And again, you get that clean, like install look like it's OEM. And that's, that's amazing right there. You, you can't, you can't put a price on that in my opinion, right? Like you're getting something super quality they design and hand make every single one of these. I believe they said like the technology is proprietary to them as well, which is pretty neat. Oh, they're saying all the software is developed in, oh, what's up, dude? You gonna help me? You wanna help me? What's up? Are you gonna help me? They said all the software is developed in house, which is awesome as well. So. Again, we're gonna we're just gonna plug all this in and uh, see if uh, we can get this gauge to light up and if it works. All right, so we have everything plugged in. I'm just leaving this uh, wired up like that for now. And then you got all these extra ones if you want to run some analogs, some dimmers. I heard there was a manual dimmer on this from reading the instructions. And uh, whatever this one runs to, there's not really instructions on what that one runs to, and it's not labeled. But again, it's probably all for analog other stuff. Hey, do not close the door on my foot, dude. I'm in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to verify that this actually works. Plug that in right there. We got the gauge right here. Oh, I see it. I see something happening. I see it kind of just like lighting up a little bit. Let's see if I can get it to stay right here for y'all. There we go. Let's go ahead and just turn the car on. I might actually have to have the car on. There we go, now it's lighting up and doing something. See, going through the little... I think it's trying to pair with the car or something. There it goes. That's awesome, I 
I'm not really sure what it's reading. Um, there's a bunch of different parameters, so we will click this. Looks like that's boost, coolant. I got, got coolant temp, pretty neat speed sensor, zero. That's really badass that it shows you like what it is too. I think that resets it from what I was seeing. IAT, so your intake air temperature right here, 147. Man, these things breathe in some warm air, guys. So this is this is really, really cool to be able to see all this stuff right here. All right, guys, so as we're sitting in here and you're looking, you can go ahead and pry up this, get that piece loose, and then with your trim tool, pull behind here, this whole piece will pop out. Now, I think it's really dumb. I feel like Ford should have put a split here, but there's not. It's all the way down here, but when you try to get it down here, it goes way over here, so you're gonna have to undo all that. So I was like, I'm not doing all that. You can if you'd like, but that was like, it's just getting excessive from having to pull one little piece over here to pull half the freaking dash to get to this thing. So I was able to access what I needed over here. I went ahead and pulled out that little carbon trim from under there so I wouldn't scratch it by moving this around. And from there, I was able to just pry out like this and actually get the whole vent to come out. Now, you're gonna have these little tabs here that are held in by two down here, and you're gonna have the three up here. And you literally just use a little flathead screwdriver like this to get underneath those tabs, pry up, get the top undone, get the bottom undone, and the whole vent should slide out like so. So now that we have the whole vent here, what we're going to be doing is removing these two bottom fins and that gauge is going to take place of those bottom fins and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about right here uh oh hang on guys like so and you can see where those vents go into the side you're gonna have the little tabs here for these to go into the side okay so i was able to put my small flathead screwdriver just on the side right there and pry up what you doing, dude? <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see how these just kind of want to slide out. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to push out. I'm going to try to do this one handed for y'all. Push out on that side to get these two lower ones out. Um, looks like there's also a little bar back there where it sits into. We're going to remove it completely from from that. I'm going to have to have both hands, but basically you're going to remove both these tabs. To get both of these lower vents out got the whole thing to slide out uh, from the other side it came all the way out i was able to undo both of those little fins uh, and again now you're gonna have the little holes here and on this side to go ahead and install that gauge um, now what you're going to want to make sure is that this is actually in the center there that way you still have your functional you'll see has a little tab it lines up on that little bar that way you can still move your vent side to side all right, so instead of running it all through there, I decided just to go ahead and snake it all the way back. It is black all the way up to that point, and it being thin will fit better through there instead of getting it pinched up here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna now put that back in place. So go in from back, and again, you still have full function of this um, vent, so that's nice. You get all the angles up and down. So yeah, that is really, really neat. I don't know why my flash is on. So yeah, we're gonna plug that in. We're gonna run that wire right through there real fast though, see if we can see it from behind. All right, so y'all can see, the wire just runs out right down here. Really neat, so <clears throat> we are going to slide this back into place back there. Should be a pretty simple, straightforward install, nothing too crazy. All right, guys, so we got everything clipped back into place. All this clipped back in, clipped back in. We can go ahead and peel that off. Um, show off that. So it's really neat. You know, again, you got full function of your vent. Still um, very clean OEM. Now we're going to address the wiring. Um, oop, my bad, I'm only leaning on the horn. <laughs> So should have access somewhere. I can see a little light and stuff. I'm hoping to be able to, okay, I can see my finger. So what I'm gonna try to do is have all the wiring go up into through here from the bottom. 
that way we can stuff everything just behind here and you don't have anything just laying here like this or visible all right guys so going underneath here i was able to just bend this thing down slide it through on that side get everything tucked up in here um just kind of probably use a zip tie if you'd like make everything nice and clear okay hang on baby and um go ahead and put cover back cover is back thank you baby now we can go ahead and start the car up got my wipers on <laughs> i was all up my steering wheel and there we go guys it's installed um here you got your little booklet so you can see everything that you need to do doesn't come with like step-by-step -step instructions for the actual install itself but that was straightforward it took me about 20 minutes start to finish to actually get that into place here you go left button will recall right will give you a cycle of the readout slash um you know operating your gauge you hold both of them that's configuration uh we're not really trying to configure it won't be nothing too crazy so see what it all comes with it looks like it comes with the boost vacuum air to fuel ratio uh read and clear dtcs exhaust gas temperature raw vehicle speed rpm shift light so there's actually a shift light option battery voltage coolant temperature which it looks like it's on coolant temperature right now yep it is on coolant temperature so you can see which one you're on now it's going to go to speed so it's going to show the speed of the vehicle your battery so we're in a 13.8, which is nice to have as well. That way you can t see if your battery's low. Looks like, okay, just did battery again. Okay, here's your shift light. Pretty neat. Looks like that is for your trans temp, I think is what it just said. Yep, so that's your trans. That's pretty cool. IAT, your intake air temperatures. Not sure what that one just was. Like ignition, throttle. I can guess what percentage. Yep. Pretty neat. AFR. That one's pretty exciting. Air. Zero to sixty. Boost is pretty cool. I'll show you your boost levels. Coolant. I think I'm gonna leave it on a boost for now. So we'll just leave it on the boost one. So yeah, guys, that's really really cool. Uh, again, still you're getting a lot of air out of here. That's nice. Nothing's being obstructed. Still getting quite a good amount of air. So this is really exciting. Super, super clean, way better than putting it here again. That big piece that y'all see up there actually fits down right in here, puts the gauge here, and you got your little switches. Now you still do have access to these. But again, that gives my wife her whole cubby back here, and we get this nice gauge. And honestly, it just makes the, the interior of this car look more like a spaceship, in my opinion. It looks really futuristic. I love the style of this gauge. Again, they do have a white and a blue. We got the white and the red. I think they have a white and a white as well, but I could be wrong. I know they for sure have a blue and they have a red. And I got the red version. I think it looks nice, especially when you go into sport mode here, which is what I always drive in. It'll just match with everything else. We need to get some gas. <laughs> Pretty low on gas here. But yeah, this is, this is super sick, guys. Again, P3 gauges, guys. Small little company, super helpful too if you need any help with installations or anything like that. Super easy install. I thought, I honestly really thought the install was gonna be a lot more intuitive than that. So I'm super glad that it was that easy to set up. Now the downside that I don't like is you're gonna have to unplug it if you wanna have your tuner in. Now you don't have to have your tuner in to have the tune on the car obviously, but not really that big of an inconvenience but when you're data logging and whatnot you have to remove that and plug this back in so but either way 
really really cool really neat and again i, I love the looks of that it, it looks sick super easy install hopefully it's easy enough for y'all to follow it took me about 20 minutes altogether, maybe 30 minutes of just messing with it and figuring out how everything came apart so yeah guys y'all can get y'all's from p3 gauges um really nice small company again you're supporting well which is awesome and uh quality stuff so we'll we we'll just see how this holds up uh, I've, I've seen their stuff for years guys for all sorts of platforms always wanted one of their gauges so i figured why not for the explorer uh again super easy install super clean i don't think you could get a cleaner gauge on the market and if you can prove me wrong you know so i, I want to see it too <laughs> but I, I don't think it's much more cleaner than that guys so uh, please like, share, and subscribe. We are at 2,600 people on here. That's insane that 2,600 people even want to be subscribed to my YouTube. So y'all keep it up. we got a lot of stuff coming. Prelude, hopefully we'll be running this year. Miata, hopefully we'll be running September. And this month we got a little bit more to go on that. We cleaned up the headers and stuff. So working on a lot of stuff here, guys. Also, we do have some stuff over there in boxes for the Explore still. Uh, so yeah, guys, we're just working on a bunch of stuff. Taking it day by day. Anyway, guys, love y'all. And until the next one.